Now we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by editor of Beauty EQ, Trudy Brewer. And this morning, she's here for her top tips and tricks when it comes to beautifully polished nails. Morning, Trudy. Morning, now. Might I say thank you for coming in a little bit early and doing my nails, Aww. which I've totally forgotten to do this morning. It was a quick, quick mani behind the scenes. Yeah, they're not the best of nails, mine, but you've done a great no, job good, of making them look beautiful. Good shape. Squoval. Really? Oh, yep. good shape. That's good to know. What is on trend for the winter manicure? Um, definitely darker nails. Lots of grey, beautiful charcoals, um, rich dark browns, aubergine. And I think a lot of women think because they've got short nails yes. they can't wear them, but they look. it looks amazing on short nails. I've got terrible hands and terrible nails and dark looks okay. It really does, especially if they're short and squarish or squoval. It's funny Square that, isn't it? Oval. Squoval. Square squoval. Oval. <laughs> um, of course, for years we thought you've got to have the really long nails to have a lot of like, dark polishes on, but obviously that's not the case. I think it's much more elegant and chic to have a short, squarish nail and a dark polish, or a very light polish. I like and those. also, very practical as well. There's yeah, an example on screen, they look yeah, fantastic. they do look great. Black is amazing too. I think women are scared of black, but we wear a lot of black. Why not try well, we on our nails? We, we flash back to 80s goth, that's why. <laughs> Um, what about nail art? What is on trend? Anything with glitter. It seems to be huge. Um, it's across the board and not every nail, maybe just choosing one or two yeah. or just some tips or just some glitter just um, at the cuticle looks beautiful. Just um, glitter around the nail and keeping the centre of the nail um, one shade. So anything with a little bit of shine or sparkle seems to be the really on trend right now. So one of the things I always find difficult is getting a good finish on my polish. What yep. can you do to get the great finish? I think a lot of us rush when we do our nails yes. and we're doing it quickly. I mean, I know I've been in here before and you're like, ah, I've got to do my nails quickly, five minutes. I think taking your time is really important. Yeah. Prepping the surface and wearing a base coat is always great. Although there are a lot of nail polishes now that you don't need base coat, but they've got some really great polymers in them to help them spread easily. Um, thin layers, like two thin layers is better than one big globby one okay. and finish off with a base coat because that does keep it sealed and prevent it from chipping. Excellent, I hope someone in the control room is taking notes on this so we can do my nails <laughs> perfectly next time. Uh, what about nail bars? When you go to get your nails done there, what should you look for? There's so many of them around, how there can you choose There are so one? many of them around and I'm quite nervous about nail bars. I actually go to a vegan nail bar which is incredible. Uh, this sounds th ridiculous. No, well it's all organic which I love because yeah. there's a lot of issues around nail and Infections. Yes. So there's three things. Hygiene is absolutely paramount. So look around and see if there's an A plus rating on the wall from council because there there is no um, you know body that goes around looking at nail yeah. bars. They're treated like hair salons. Um, the second thing is check that everything is sterilised. Don't let them pull a nail draw, nail file out of a drawer in front of them and start buffing you when you can clearly see she's used it. Right. Um, they should be wearing disposable gloves the nail technicians because they don't transfer from client to client mm. and I think ask questions you know find out if they have got disinfectant that they're using that's hospital grade if they have got some qualifications on the wall behind you to see that they are actually registered nail technicians mm. another good one as well that is always a good idea isn't it because yeah. you might as well ask the questions because you don't want to end up with some really horrific infections around and your nails. they take seconds to get and years to get mm. rid of so what about the best ones that prevent or to prevent the chipping and last the longest because I'm always about longevity. Yeah, I know, and that is tricky. I mean, it really comes down to how you treat your nails yourself. You know, if you if you don't wear rubber gloves when you do housework, you can't expect your mani to last very long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there are a lot of new polishes now that contain polymers and filamers and diamond technology that actually does set really hard on the nails. My best nail tip is to use an oil, a nail oil, because the, your nail is actually layers of calcium, and what happens is that pe they peel and flake when they get dry, just like your skin, they get okay. dry. So using a nail oil before you go to bed at night is a great way to keep the nail hydrated and help your mani last longer. Good to know, put it on your, put it on your face and put it on your nails as well. Let's yeah. talk about these very quickly, so what okay, have you brought quickly. in today? Look, Revlon, number one selling nail colour in New Zealand, they can do no wrong with nails. That's, they, they launch their brands with lipsticks and nail polishes. So the Colourstay um, okay. Gel Envy lasts and lasts. Okay, these ones don't here. need a don't need a base coat with that. Oh, that's good to know. Um, vinyl Lux. I'm actually wearing Vinyl Lux in dark Ooh, lava, nice. which is beautiful. Um, long lasting professional polish lasts two weeks. These OPI ones. New OPI. Um, again, this is like a salon finish to nails. I've used that on you today, and it actually helps fill ridges. It's a brilliant polish to just give you 
Amazing Making shine. Making nails beautiful. And Making what about the last ones there? And Sally Hansen. I, I love Sally Hansen. It's got lots of really lovely hydrating ingredients in it. And that's a black, which is gorgeous. Again, it's a gel polish that cures under natural light, so you just need the two layers, the polish and the top coat. Fantastic. It lasts longer too. Hey, Trudy, thank you so You're much. Welcome. And thank, thank you for doing you. my nails this oh, morning as well. Pleasure. Now, for more of Trudy's tips, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.